so the, the two companies are Tencent, which I assume most people have heard of, and, and C, which I assume in Singapore. Mm. You know, if you have not heard of them, they, they own Shopee, which I assume you have heard of as well. So, so huge companies. Um, yes. <laughs> in, in case e-commerce, you didn't know, right? yeah, e-commerce. Um, in case you didn't know, Tencent actually had a huge stake in C. Um, we, we have talked the last few weeks about okay. Tencent being, being kind of seen as a VC bet, you know, into China, not really just for, for mm. WeChat and, and all that. And this is kind of a sign of it. So, so they, they were one of the lead investors in C over the past many, many rounds before they listed. They ended up owing, mm. owning 21% of C, right? Which is huge. And okay, when was this? Um, so... Six at months li- ago, or at listing, they they own twenty one percent. So so they must have built up stake Got it. over the, the the many rounds of fundraising, and yeah, mm. the, the news last week was that they would Tencent would, would divest fourteen and a half million shares of C, right, and raise three billion USD in the process. Wow, right. I mean, yeah, you go right wow. Wow, three billion. Um, but just a reminder, and and to put into context as well, as that September, you know, look at the financials of Tencent, they had. 40 billion mm. cash. So, so 3 billion is like nothing. Oh, four zero, zero, right? Yeah, yeah four zero. Right? Okay, it's not nothing, but it's, it's very, wow. very minimal. And, and you think about the, the size of their stake as well. They sold 14.5 million shares. Their shareholding percentage went from 21 and a bit to 18.7. So, mm. they have sold, what, 10% of their stake. Okay. Slightly more. Um, again, yes. <laughs> not, not, not nothing, but not huge as well. So, what was the reason for this? Yeah. They have been very fluffy about it. Uh, so what they have hmm. said is, oh yeah, we are, we are taking, essentially they say we are taking profits, right? We want to reinvest it. We want to you know, refocus, but come on, you have 40B, right? What, what, what's this tree going to do? Exactly. <laughs> They're going to pay exactly. that much? No, obviously not. So, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a few implications on this. So the, oh, sorry, one, one last point about what changed is also yeah. they, they had this really, C had this really weird, you know, interesting share structure where Tencent and the founder of C had their own class of shares. So they, the two of them essentially control like voting and decision making rights and, and all that. And in addition mm. to that, wow. um, Tencent actually gave the founder of C Forest a proxy, essentially promising that however you vote, I will vote with you. Right. So, so it's it's a, it's a follow along. And Jeez. what what yeah. they they changed with this sale was also because obviously the shares of Tencent go to a third party, and they don't want the third party to have that much voting say as well, right? So all of Tencent's shares are being shifted into the the Class A shares, which we buy and own. Um, and and that's that's that. So so there's a bit of a change in in terms of. Of shareholding structure as well, but implications. I, I don't know, right? I, I think well, first thing is once the share sale got announced, it dropped ten percent on on a day. So this was last Monday or last Tuesday, last Tuesday, right? Just just before our, our last episode, one week ago. Where, yeah, one week ago, where we did yes. the news. So so yes, we have to talk about it this week. Yes, <laughs> um, it, it dropped ten percent. I mean, it, it's still going down. So it, it's dropped another ten percent since last week, if, if not more, actually. So yeah, it's, it's, it's just market sentiment, I, I feel. I, I mean, realistically, if we go back to fundamentals, I don't see any fundamental of C that has changed, right? They are still a, a good e-commerce company. They are still a gaming company at a very, very big stretch. You could say, oh yeah, Tencent's good at gaming. You know, they had some synergies and partnerships there and it, they might no longer be there, but come on. Tencent still an 18% shareholder, right? They are still one of the largest shareholders in C. They will pass okay. them. And, and in any case, well, Tencent's gaming is, is really focused in China, whereas C is focused in India and Brazil and the rest of the world. So, so they are not really competitive mm. in that sense. So I don't see why, you know, Tencent would cut the office nose to spite its face and say, oh yeah, I don't want to partner with you anymore. Like if if everything has worked out and, and there's no like real rift or, or like egos you know coming into play. Yeah, but I think one Got of it. So one, one of the thing that is interesting is that uh Tencent's largest shareholder uh process, right? Process, they tend right, not yeah. to own 
Yeah, they tend not to own more uh, more than five percent of a uh, company. So could that also mm. be a reason why like they they are trying to like process if China's exposure? Uh, essentially, they are trying to limit their exposure to 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 China itself through via via Tencent. Yeah, could that be one of the reason why? I don't know. I mean, I I don't think Closus actually has that. I mean, they they are still a relatively big shareholder in, in Tencent, but I don't think they have that much voting rights in in that sense. So to to be able to to control Tencent practically in a way, and I think maybe a bit more of this is, and, and this is actually relatively interesting is is to remove that mm. perception of C being a Chinese company. Right. I mean, you know, Forrest is now Singaporean, um, ostensibly um, he came from China. But you know, there, there's always this impression when we talk about C that uh, they, are, they are Chinese owned or they are Chinese controlled or there is Chinese link. And, and this is one step um, removing them from, from tr- or trying to remove them from that perception, which is, again, nonsense if you look at the substance. But whatever, sometimes people just want to look on the face of things. Yeah, quick question, right? Do you think like, you know, Tencent wants to take the money out because they, they expect that this sort of downtrend that we all are facing uh, currently in the markets and using that 3B, yes, it's not a lot of money, but maybe they can't touch the 40B for whatever reason, yeah. use that funds to then go back into the market as a form of, of uh, you know, yeah, like you already said, divesting into other stocks that have gone down and they see better value there? Maybe, maybe. Um, I mean, it could very well be a capital allocation decision. Where they go, mm. yeah, I could borrow from a bank at, at 2 or 3% interest rate because I'm investment grade. I could go raise a bond that again, 2 or 3 or 4%, but I, I would rather sell my shares because I don't see it making 2 or 3 or 4%, right? And and so in, in that sense, yes. it, it, it's relatively a better investment decision because they, they, they pay less in terms of their cost of capital. But then exactly. again, you know, Come on, it, it's C, it's, it's in the equity market. It's C, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you don't tell me you, you can't, you don't expect them to perform like three or four uh, percent in, in the medium term, right? Um, so, so I, I feel like this is a bit more of, of a signal. And, and the, the reason why I say this as well is also because I think last month or two months ago, um, Tencent mm-hmm. also divested a much, much bigger part of a stake, of a stake in JD.com. We we didn't oh. we didn't talk about it because there there was other news on, no. on that week. JD.com shares as a special dividend spread. Yes, that's right. So so right. Tencent is is a relatively big shareholder in in JD.com. They 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 kind of distributing it to their current shareholders as as a special dividend that was about sixteen billion in in in, in transaction value. So much bigger and and you know for for that you can see anti competitive behavior and all that coming in China coming into play, right? Because Tencent is a huge platform, JD is a huge platform, you don't want mm. so much control in, in that sense. You, you don't want to be, able, to be able to say that Tencent can control the market, so fine, you, you divest it, you realize your your value and, and you move on. But there's very little overlap here, so so I don't think that that same you know, type of reasoning applies, but yeah, I mean, who knows, we shall Got see. It. I mean. I, I don't see this as bad for C, so I bought a bit, and then I did for the, which is which is great. But oh well, maybe <laughs> I should have looked at a two hundred EMA. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so we have to see how this plays out because you know, I mean, I think for our listeners out there, C owns Garena, yep. they own and they own Shopee, right? So gaming as well as as is e commerce, and and yes. e commerce is still booming like crazy. Um, and, and I know I go to Shopee to compare with Lazada and Shopee somehow is always cheaper. I don't know why, but, yes. um, in, in most things. So yes. definitely, right. When you look at the fundamentals, I think it's a quick takeaway here. Uh, it's more the market sentiment of one of its investors pulling it out for whatever the reason, right? I know there was yes. a China crackdown into 10 cents as well. Um, of course I don't, I don't want to speculate what, what they discuss, what the government discussed with 10 cents. Maybe this was part of it. Who knows? And they gradually have to. Like what you mentioned, Anthony, right? Uh, anti-competition rules is, you know, get get smaller exposure to these things and do whatever they want to. Um, but that that could definitely be it. Um, but you think it's a good opportunity here for, for us to go into C. Is yeah, that right, I mean, Look, I, I own quite a lot of headset, to be honest. Um, and, and I'm okay. beginning to own quite a lot of C. Um, so, I mean, I'm just talking about book here. 
But I think, you know, yeah. my, I, I, I like, I've always liked C. I just felt it was way overvalued at, at 300 or 330 or 350, whatever it was. Um, now that it's at 160, mm. it, it looks a lot more attractive, right? They are still executing. They are still executing well. Um, e-commerce as a trend isn't going away. So why not? Got it. And it's interesting, right? Because the stock for Tencent did go up from, from 430 to 460 in that one week after yep. they, they took the money out of, of C. Uh, and that's quite, that's quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. But I think China, China tech has been doing decently well this year, unlike everybody else.